In this uh, video tutorial, I just want to quickly explain catch up. Uh, uh, I know to catch up uh, to, to, to some of you is very important. And obviously that way you don't want your life being governed by television, but there's some your favorite programs you want to catch up on later on. So let me just show you how that works. Um, to identify which channels we have catch up on, um, I'm just going to turn the volume down just so I can, uh, you can hear me. Um, so uh, if you look in the menu over on the left hand side, I don't know if you can see me just using the remote here now, the menu just down here, anything with a little orange clock is a channel that we have catch up on. Currently we have seven day catch up. Uh, that may be extended to 14 day in the future, but right now seven days catch up is available and we have catch up on 40 of our most popular channels. Now let me explain a couple of things about catch up. Catch up is actually a recording of a live stream. So what it does, it uses up an awful lot of server space. To run catch up is hugely expensive, which is why we focused on the most popular channels to give you catch up on. Now with that in mind, understand because catch up is a recording, a bit like the iPlayer, BBC iPlayer, if ever you've gone on and watched that, sometimes when you want to go back and watch a program, the iPlayer will say that program is not available. Now because catch up is actually a recording, the reason it's not immediately available is because what we have to do is we actually have to obviously record the program. So let's say it's EastEnders. We then have to compress it so that we can actually move it across uh, the internet and we have to transcode it. Now don't worry about any of that. I'm just explaining to you why catch-up is not immediately available. Uh, that encoding process, what we call the encoding process, always takes a little bit of time to compress, transcode, and actually get it in a state that we can actually deliver to you at high quality uh, uh, TV. So um, there will always be a delay between you can't, if you, let's say for example now you watched, a, uh, you were half an hour and you want to watch uh, EastEnders that started half an hour ago, that program may not be available. You, it may either just not show or it will just say file missing. It doesn't mean it's not working, it means it hasn't been finished in coding. So let me just give you an example. Let me go to the BBC, which is obviously a very popular channel. We uh, actually do catch up on the HD, not the SD. Um, because obviously that we feel the quality is very important. And if I click on this right here now, I'm going to show you how you actually move around catch up. So if you look over to the right hand side, I don't know if you can see my finger there, just where it says TV guide, you use the arrow keys and you actually move over to the right and it will give you all the programs that are happening today on Tuesday the 14th, okay? And you can move around them. Now you have to go back a few hours to find a catch up. The reason is if it's not there, if it, if it doesn't play, just to repeat, it's not that it won't play later, it's too early. It's still uh, being encoded, okay? So let's say now, um, looking at the time here right now, I'm gonna go back to say, um, let's go back to Animal Park Summer Special. And as you can see, you can just see a little yellow dot there. Uh, if you see a little yellow dot uh, above uh, actual uh, the time, that means catch up is available, has been encoded and is ready to go, okay? So let's, if we play that now, it will go back to that uh, catch up program. Uh, this is just an advert. And what you, the great thing about catch up that you can do is using your remote control, you can move forward and go back on the catch up program. So for example here now, I might wanna move forward, say maybe I watched the first five minutes already and I can move to say around sort of, I've put it at 5.06, give it a moment just to load and it will reset itself to five minutes into the program as you can see there right now. And if you wanna jump ahead, or um, the great thing about catch up is you can pause catch up, go and make a cup of tea, and then come back and rewatch it again. So that's a little bit about catch up. Um, the other thing about catch up is going back to programs days before. We go back seven days right now, which is obviously very useful if there's something you missed a week ago. So if to do that, I'm just gonna show you how you do that. Again, I'm using the arrow keys on my remote control. 
I'm going to go back here now and I'm going to go back to say Monday. We'll go looking for uh, some program that's on there. So I press Monday and let's just uh, scroll ahead, see if we can find something that was on this last night. Uh, let's have a quick look to see uh, what we've got. Oh, let's go to EastEnders if that interests you. So at nine o'clock, you can see a little orange dot, which means the catch up is available. And I click on EastEnders and away we go. EastEnders is there. OK, this is just the pre advert just before the program starts. OK, so and again on all catch up, don't forget, you can fast forward or move back depending on what you want. You can also um, at any time uh, you can actually pause it or play. The pause play button is that little one just there on where my thumb is right now. So anyway, um, I'm going to take that back. Uh, I do hope that was some help to you. That was a little bit about how catch up works.